Hey guys, it's Garrett here with uh, Dr. Muscle, and I'm here to review the AI fitness app, Body App. So, BodyBot is supposed to be a fitness app that uses supposedly AI to generate uh, personalized programs for individuals. Concept is similar to Dr. Muscle. You go in and they ask you questions, your gender, your age, training age, um, <coughs> equipment availability and so on and then it gives you a program. I'd never heard of BodyBot and so I wanted to give it a try and I started to look at the reviews and at the end <laughs> I was very confused. Um, the app is odd. Uh, I'm not sure even where to start. I mean to begin with all it, it had a very, very culty vibe. All the uh, people on the app were wearing like white underwear and there are weird symbols and I mean, all that aside, you know, that doesn't mean it's bad. All that aside, I started to look through all the reviews and the reviews were very discerning. There was either uh, really, really bad, really, really good. There were completely mixed reviews, people saying completely opposite things such as uh, the exercises were way too easy to the exercises were way too hard and I could not get it to change the exercises so I had to quit the app. And so yeah, so I downloaded it and I started to go through the apps and I had a hunch of what was going on and that is what I found. What that is, is it seems to me that the people who designed the AI don't have a full grasp of scientific principles when it comes to lifting. This is a problem because when someone says they have an AI fitness app, it doesn't really matter if the people who designed the AI don't know what they're doing. So there are a lot of examples. Um, for one, many of the reviews and what I saw were, oh, they used you know exotic exercises like Zotman curls. Um, there's nothing wrong with Zotman curls. Uh, but I've found that when people start to, when trainers start to go to the you know, more exotic exercises right off the bat, it's generally they're trying to show they have this superior knowledge and they're trying to, you know, quote unquote, show off. Um, a beginner, there's no reason a beginner needs to do his Atman curls over regular curls. Um, and that's not the worst thing, but <laughs> that is one example. A more discerning example is when you go into the app, and this is what a reviewer said, and I had checked it out, is when you put like advanced or whatever, it gives you insane, very, 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 very elite uh, programs, such as you know, eight by three deadlifts, um, 10 by one push press. Like, <laughs> there's, nothing there's nothing specifically wrong with that, but if you're going to prescribe that to someone, you need to have intimate knowledge of this person's ability. These are, these are, I've done a program like that and it's very advanced, it's very fatiguing. It is not something you just nilly willy uh, send out to someone because they said I'm advanced. Um, people are gonna get hurt with that. Um, a next example is they just, when you would, I would change my level from like beginner to advanced and it would just completely change the exercises I, were, I was using, which that you don't need to do that. You know, so for example, if I had a, if I had a client who's a beginner, I might start them on, you know, say light dumbbell chest press, right? And then when they get to the advanced, then I'll have them doing some heavy barbell presses, right? The same biomechanics, but this would have you doing, say, something like towel rows, and then it jumps all the way up to doing, you know, five by 10 pull-ups or something ridiculous like that. Um, the difference between a beginner and an advanced is the weight that's being used, okay? Um, there are some differences with some of the exercises, but the main part that changes it aren't the exercises, it's the intensities, the weight that's actually being used. Another example is with the program I did, I went through and I could not find a consistent, I could not see why my exercises were being chosen why I was doing exercises on certain days. For example, one day, the exercises were completely random upper body exercises, and then the last exercise were leg curls. 
<laughs> okay. Um, and then another day, it had four main exercises, but two there were two pairs that were basically identical. So, for example, one was a standing overhead press, and then the other one was handstand shoulder presses. <laughs> so, the one that's that's biomechanically, those are very similar. There's no need to do those back to back. Those are um, that you're not going to get that much benefit. Anyways, the next two were uh, dumbbell shrugs and barbell front shrugs. So again, like the same movements, they're a little bit different, but they don't need to be on the same day. Um, and then that was it. Just those four exercises, two of them were biomechanically the same, and it didn't correlate with any of the other, other exercises. So again, it was just like throwing stuff out there. Um, it just didn't make sense to me. Now, this does not mean that I'm biased towards my extra, the way I do things. Um, there are many different ways to use progressive overload and different exercises, and I have my way, and another very highly qualified trainer might have their way. So even though I don't do something the way they do it, I can look at the program and say, yeah, the principles are here, it makes sense, the exercise order, that's good, that's gonna work. I do things a little differently, but it's, you know, it's, it's not a big deal. So that's not what this is. This is seeing something that's compl that I don't see any principles being applied, um, exercise order, weights being used, um, just very, very confused. So that would be my main gripe with BodyBot is this just, it seem, it literally looks as though the, the people behind the AI were just looking at things and throwing them on and they didn't create this from their own knowledge. They just kind of looked at different things and said, yeah, we're going to put this all together. Um, that being said, there are some other issues. There are a lot of bug issues that would just uh, shut down. Um, things weren't available unless you had Wi-Fi and that wasn't clear. There was a lot of customer service complaints and stuff like that. And we can read that with Dr. Muscle. Dr. Muscle is so far above <laughs> this app. Um, it uses, you know, AI, but the the ones who are developing the AI are literally, they literally have their PhDs in exercise science um, or, or somewhere in that field. And they have years and years of experience. I've looked at their programs, I've used their programs and it's, when Dr. Muscle spits you out a, a program, it's literally what I, it's very similar to something that I would give you. Um, so they use things like RPE, progressive overload, um, they use all this stuff. It's everything scientifically sound. And again, when you say like a trainer in a pocket, um, Dr. Muscles is like having an excellent scientific research based trainer in your pocket. BodyBot is like having uh, a crappy trainer that doesn't know what they're talking about in your pocket. Um, I, it sounds harsh, but I would, I've reviewed some other apps and this app is, I would say, the worst that I've seen. I just did not see the, the principles being applied at all. That being said, um, yeah, Dr. Muscle is way far beyond BodyBot.